Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we are going to continue with PyTest. We will integrate testing into our Python ETL pipeline. In the previous session, we have covered the PyTest basics and developed data quality test. We ran these tests against a data set to check our assumptions. In this session, we will integrate these tests into our Python ETL pipeline. Link for the previous session as well as the ETL pipeline video is in the description below. We will borrow the base code from the ETL pipeline video. This is our ETL pipeline script. We will go ahead and make few modifications to it to include test cases. Since each table is different and has different columns, therefore we will have to process each table separately in order to run data quality test against it. So in this script, we will only select the dim product table. We can go ahead and remove the initial query check that checks for multiple tables. Along with this, we can also get rid of the for loop since we are only processing a single table. We'll go ahead and save the table name into a tbl underscore name variable, and we'll set this to dim product. We'll pass this variable to our query, and in addition, let's switch the SQL Server connection to SQL Alchemy, as Pandas throws a warning that the future versions of Pandas will only support SQL Alchemy. We will remove the call to the load function and return the data frame and the table name from this function. SQL Alchemy doesn't have connection.close function, so we'll go ahead and remove the finally clause after the accept. We are only processing a single table. We are returning a data frame and the table name from this function. Our load function will remain the same. We will also remove the function call at the end of the script. We will call the function from the test script. This is how our ETL pipeline script looks. We will save this file as product underscore pipeline in a new folder called product. This is the parent directory called Python ETL, and this can serve as a base directory. We can create a folder for each table and save the script for that table in that folder. For example, we have created a products folder and we have saved the product pipeline script here. We will create another file here for testing the product pipeline. If you recall from the previous session, the test file must begin with test keyword. So we will name this file test underscore product underscore pipeline. We will import our required libraries such as pandas, numpy, and pytest. Along with these libraries, we will import our product underscore pipeline file and from this file, we will import extract and load function. In our test file, we will define a fixture at the top. We provide the session and auto use to this fixture. It is possible to apply a fixture to all of our tests in the hierarchy, even if the test don't explicitly request a fixture. And we do this by passing auto use to true to the pytest fixture decorator. We define a function under this fixture called df. Here we invoke our extract function. This will pull data from our database and return it as a data frame. The extract function will be called before the first test. We use the yield statement to push the data frame to our test. The yield statement returns one value, then it waits, saves the local state, and resumes again. When the calls to the functions are complete, only then we process any subsequent code after the yield statement. In this case, we make a call to our load function once all the tests are complete. Now we can start writing our test cases. Instead of writing from scratch, I will bring the data quality test we defined in the last session as we are processing the same table, but this time around, we are pulling this data from a database. Let's assume next we process the product category table. We can utilize the same script for extract and load, and we only need to change the table name in the tbl underscore name variable. The main changes will be in the test file. Be sure to update the column names and run appropriate tests on those columns. Anyways, the test integration is complete in our ETL pipeline. We can save our work and give it a run. So far, we have invoked the test with pytest command but we can also call the test with python-m flag, then provide the module name, which is pytest in this case, 
and we provide an additional argument dash v for verbosity, meaning it will return more details about the running test. PyTest found our seven tests and all the tests ran successfully. Note with dash v flag, we received the test names along with the status. Previously, we were seeing a dot for success and F for failure. This gives us a little more information on the test cases. We can explore our database to make sure that the STG product table is present and it includes data. We can perform further tests on the data to make sure it meets the data quality standards. This is how we can integrate testing into our Python ETL pipelines. Next, we'll cover how to produce test reports and email the test reports to a stakeholder. This is all on the PyTest for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.